based on the Young Adult Book Trilogy about a dystopian America divided into competitive sections, this doe-eyed teenage heroine must lead a revolt against a ruthless dictator who... Wait, guys, we did this one already. It's The Hunger Games. No, John, it's not The Hunger Games. It's not? Are you sure? Because it looks and sounds exactly like The Hunger Games. Yeah, there's no fight to the death in this one. So, it's the same movie, but without the actual games? That sounds horrible. Divergent. Enter a world inspired by a woman who read The Hunger Games and said to herself, I can change that slightly and make a ton of money. Journey to an overly complicated future where every teenager's career is determined by a test that places them into one of five factions, each based on a single personality trait, unless they test positive for more than one, which makes them a divergent, but is different from being factionless, which basically means you're homeless. But the test doesn't matter because they can choose whatever faction they want, which leads to another series of tests. There are two stages of training. You'll be trained separately from the Dauntless Born, but you'll be ranked together. After initiations, rankings will determine what jobs you move into. The rankings will also determine who gets cut. At the end of each stage of training, the lowest ranking... Uh, the bowl of names in the sorting hat were a lot more straightforward. Gryffindor! Volunteer as tribute to one of five factions, each named after a different SAT word. There's Abnegation, the District 12s, Erudite, the Slytherins, Amity, the Hufflepuffs, the other one, and Dauntless, the cool faction that plays games, gets tattoos, and does parkour that every teen would choose to join. Because no teenager in their right mind would ever choose to be a f***ing farmer. Meet Triss, a secretly divergent abnegate turned Dauntless who's just as insufferable as this sentence. She's a heroine you're not embarrassed to like, who's smarter than Bella, and more decisive than Katniss, but that won't stop her from getting her ass kicked. A lot. Witness a creepy romance bloom between Triss and her much, much older trainer with an equally dumb name. My name's Four. Four, like the number? And thrill as these rebellious divergents uncover an evil conspiracy to eradicate an entire district. I mean, faction. Watch things heat up as Shailene Woodley and this super hot tattooed hunk make out while fighting against Miles Teller, who she made out with in The Spectacular Now and being related to Ansel Elgort, who she made out with in The Fault in Our Stars. Yeesh, it's like a quarter quill of Guy Shailene's port. Sit back for a film full of things that are obvious attempts to pander to teenage girls like staring at yourself in the mirror, having perfect hair no matter how much you work out, hot older boys who see how special you are on the inside. I know exactly who you are. And telling them that choosing your clique is the most important decision you'll ever make. Faction. Before blood. So get ready to be left hanging while our two love interests outsmart the evil government, then ride off on a train into an uncertain future. Guys, I'm telling you, we did this already! Starring Catris, I am number four, The Fault in our co stars, Kilometers Teller, Old Rose, Mackay Five Minutes of Screen Time, Kat Von D, and Sinna's Daughter. Not The Hunger Games. Yikes, one kid with hepatitis and they're all going down. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Did you know we make video game trailers too? Click here to check out our epic Honest Trailer for Pokemon. And be sure to subscribe to Smosh Games. What ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English and what? You get nothing, you lose. Good day, sir. Everybody do the flop. It's time we touched Wands Harry. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants.